What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Yeah, I shaved the beard off. Had to start over. Didn't have to. Just wanted to. Man. Right now, uh, on dirt, Mark is uh, behind me. One of the two Marks. Uh, the other Mark and Chris and Sandy will be joining us. If not today, tomorrow. They're not sure they're going to make it out tonight. Uh, so, probably tomorrow. Uh, but we're heading for the Trona Pinnacles, which is just outside Death Valley, on the south end of Death Valley, out here in the desert, um, kind of off the 395. We just got off the 395, just hit dirt about 30 minutes ago. I've never been to the Toronto Pinnacles. Uh, I've been told they're really cool, and uh, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show them to you, so hang in there. Rising from the bottom of what was once an ancient lake bed, the Trona Pinnacles represent one of the most unique geological landscapes in the California desert. Over 500 of these tufa or calcium carbonate spires are spread out over a 14 square mile area across the Searless Lake Basin. These features range in size from small coral-like boulders to several that top out at over 140 feet tall. The pinnacles were formed between 10,000 and 100,000 years ago when Searless Lake formed a link in a chain of interconnected lakes flowing from the Owens Valley to Death Valley. At one point during the Pleistocene, eh, the Ice Age, the area was under 640 feet of water.
forgive me, I'm breathing heavy. Why, you ask? Well, let me just show you. I just hiked all the way up here from there. <laughs> Not very far, I know, but for an old guy who's out of shape, it takes a minute to not be breathing heavy. So cut me some slack. Anyway, Toronto Pentacles, guys. This is um, quite the morning view. A very unusual landscape, very cool. Very, very cool. Camped in this little bowl down here uh, all night. Great night's sleep, great night's sleep. It's chilly, but not terribly cold. I uh, did my first uh, Starscape, I hope, Starscape, uh, what do you call it, video thing. Um, not that much of a photographer. Um, and uh, we'll see, I haven't turned it off. I had it plugged in all night, let it run all night from dusk till dawn. And uh, I'm hoping it turned out okay. Had some amazing stars uh, last night, so we'll see. Hopefully that turns out really good. Another great morning. Made some coffee. Just kind of enjoying the peace and quiet. Mark's not awake yet. Plan for the day. We're going to get up, take it kind of slow. We're not in any, any kind of hurry. Chris and Sandy and Mark, I think they say they're leaving about 8 or 9 this morning. Heading this way. That puts them out here about noon, I think. 11.30 noon. And I say out here by out long with 395, not right here. Uh, probably going to meet up somewhere in Big Pine or Lone Pine or somewhere before we head out into Alabama Hills to camp tonight. <clears throat> so the plan is to find them and then find camp. And nobody's in any big hurry. So I'm going to continue to enjoy this morning. I'm going to continue to enjoy my coffee. I'll get you guys some pretty cool morning shots.
wait in Lone Pine for you. All right, go. Cool. And then we'll uh, we'll hit you up. We're either call you or we're on channel 17 on our radio. Yeah, if we're not in our car, we're on the radio too. Hit us there first. If All not, right. call us. All right, cool. All right, later, brother. All right, later. All right, we have met up. The crew is back together. It's Chris and Sandy, Mark and Mark and me, all together had lunch in uh, Lone Pine. And we were heading up the Whitney Portal Road, which has a detour right now. We're on that detour. And we are heading to a campsite that Mark and I found two years ago. And we're all gonna camp there tonight. It's gonna be cold. We're gonna be in the shadows of the mountain here really quickly, if not already. And uh, should be an interesting night. The route we chose to our campsite took us directly through Alabama Hills. The Alabama Hills are a formation of rounded rocks and eroded hills set between the jagged peaks of the Sierra Nevada and the Owens Valley. The hills consist of nearly 30,000 acres of public land located west of Lone Pine and are managed by the Bureau of Land Management. The rounded, oddly shaped contours of the Alabama Hills form a sharp contrast to the glacially carved ridges of the Sierra Nevada. While both landforms consist of the same granitic rock, the fantastic shapes of the hills were formed by a combination of natural chemical weathering and wind erosion. Beginning in 1920, Hollywood filmmakers began to take an interest in the Alabama Hills for its natural scenery. Since then, over 400 movies have been filmed here.
We are all here celebrating Veterans Day and preparing to join so many patriots at the third annual Overlanding for Warriors event, created and hosted by Daniel and Tish from 395 Junkie. So we are all proudly displaying our American flags as we head out. Please join me in the next video where I will share this incredible event with you. See you there, and thanks for watching.